Hey you guys, Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. Ooh. Today we are here to talk about Canada's Drag Race, season three, episode six, seven. Seven. Squirrel, seven. Squirrel's trip, the rooms are call, honey. Mm. Get into that. I gotta remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have been showing us so much love, and I just I really appreciate it. And we just want this channel to continue to grow. So subscribe and join our crazy family. We're a good time. So what did you think it. of this week's episode of Canvas Drag Race? Mm. It was okay. It was it was an okay episode. It wasn't bad. No. It was good. Mm -hmm. That room, you know, this, that room. Is this the one where we got the odds and the evens going? Yeah, but that was broken last uh, last week, so we're good now. But yeah, this it, the, the rusical. We'll get to the rusical, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to it. So we're gonna hop up in here, and we're gonna start off. We say goodbye to Bombay. Bye, baby. Our sweet Bombay is gone. Yeah. So they come in, they read her message, they sit down, they congratulate Irma for winning the lip sync. Uh, but Kimmy had some things to say about the lip sync. Her and Giselle, to be honest, both had mm -hmm. some things to say about that lip sync. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, listen, was it the best lip sync? No. no. But it, was, it did what it was supposed to do. I enjoyed it, okay? Mm -hmm. It was okay. It, it, it did something. It was serviceable. Yes. So we congratulate Fierce Alicious. And I really did enjoy her calling out the other queen saying, y'all don't even think I was going to win. The only person who said my name was Bombay. And like, don't get me wrong. She is annoying. I'm not going to sit her neck like she's not. Yes. She gets on my nerve. Every single episode. Every single episode. But baby, you can't deny that she's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. it, look, and it I, might I annoy here, me to say it, but she's doing a great job. Yes, to the point where I almost have some regret. <laughs> <laughs> because my first impression when we did the 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 meet the queens, I was mm -hmm. like, oh yep, yeah, that's the one. And now, one of mine is gone. Yeah, we're both missing one. We're both missing one. I can't remember. Our dearly departed Bombay. No, I had... Oh, you're missing two, because remember, we both had chaos. Oh, yeah. I'm missing you're two missing now. Two. I still have Kimmy and Jada Shada, and you just have Jada Shada. I just got Miss Jada Shada. But baby Vivian was not having it. She was over it. She's like, I don't even think about you. I'm like, now, come on. <laughs> Like, I get it. You upset. You didn't win. You were close. But let's be real. Fierce really deserved that win. She might she be. She did. She might I mean, be as hell. She, 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 she turned it out. Like, the, the, for somebody to be in beauty, she did what needed to be done. I mean, it was a beauty challenge and she did beauty things. Yeah. Like, she was on Tyra Banks. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I understand you're frustrated, but honey, you, it's all finna change for you this episode anyway, so we don't uh -huh. get into that. So, it is the next day, the queens are entering the room, and um, Fierce Delicious brought up the conversation about, you know, who has what wins, who doesn't have any, because I would have done it too, since you wanted to have a little fit yesterday after I won. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, how many wins do you have? Zero? Oh, I'm a winner. Are you a winner? <laughs> yeah, I'm petty. You want you want to play me? I'm gonna play you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you the house down. To Phil, Phil, house down boots. That was weird. All right, so uh, Irma was talking about how <laughs> you know she's had her ups and downs in this competition, but she's really thinking this episode is gonna be her win. So RuPaul comes on the stage, on the stage, Lord, comes on the TV on the screen. screen. And then Brad walks in. Oh, I didn't get a full shot of them shorts. Oh, my God, them shorts he had on. You know, I don't know about that outfit. It looks like somebody took a bunch of ties and put them together. 
And like I get it. That's you know, I think that's that was done on purpose, but it's it's I don't like it. Oh. And then when I saw that they were shorts, I'm like, I've never if it had been pants, it would have been serviceable, but then it was shorts. And then he had Mitch Match socks on. Like he did. Yeah. So um our mini challenge is an acting challenge that they should have done episode two. Because mm-hmm. I just thought about it. They haven't done an acting challenge this season. I don't think so. No. And you know, we're wrapping things up. We got the top, but well, we're at the top five now. Mm-hmm. We got like three episodes left. We got the ball and then the finale. I think there's only two episodes left. Oh, wow. We got the ball and then the finale. This was another challenge I thought could have been a maxi challenge. But it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's another space theme thing they've done. But Brad announced <laughs> that the winner is Kimmy Couture, and I was really shocked about that. Yeah, because I thought somebody else did a little bit better than Kimmy. I thought Jada did a great job. I thought Irma Gerd did a great, great job. I thought I was going to one of them. Right. And what gets me is she won $2,500 from Snag Tights. But if you also notice, uh, Vivian, when she won later in the episode, she uh-huh. got $2,500. You telling me the mini challenge and the maxi challenge gets the same cash prize? Right. And the only thing that was different was the, the, the sponsor threw in some extra tights. That, that, really threw, that, that really threw me off, okay? I was like, no. But anyway, Brad announces that this week they'll be doing a rusical. And yeah. when Giselle heard that they're going to have to sing their own part, she's like, great. <laughs> Yay. Yay singing. Yay, singing. Yay, singing. <laughs> uh, but they, had, they got to pick their own parts. And I thought it was weird that they recorded the vocals with Brad. Brad's not a singer. Right. Brad's not a performer. He's a stylist. What does he know about this? Like, I get it when Michelle does it because, you know, she has her background in singing. She was part of a girl group. Um, Mm -hmm. She was on the Bodyguard soundtrack. You know, things she won't let us forget. But but it was so weird seeing Brad here, especially when the special guest judge this week is a musician. You can't have them come in a day early. I just, I thought that was really weird. But anyway, uh, we move on to rehearsal. We had Hollywood Jade. And honestly, can Hollywood Jade just become a main judge next season? Okay. Because I live for Hollywood Jade. I really do. I really do. Um, We don't talk about mirror moments, but ma'am. Mm. Ma'am. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm not going to discredit anybody's story. If you believe that ghost did that to you, honey, you you believe that, okay? But yeah. <laughs> Princess Brooklyn. Oh, this is so good. She looked like she belonged in a, what was that Amy Adams movie? Oh, Enchanted. Yeah. Oh my God. That's how you oh. know. <laughs> All she was missing was a little bird to land on her shoulder. This was amazing. Oh, she. If I was RuPaul, I'll be on the phone with Zaldi. Step your pussy up. <laughs> All these queens in other countries are fucking with me. They would want to get, we, get it together. <laughs> God, this is so good. This is probably my favorite look I've ever seen on Canada's Drag Race. And it wasn't mm-hmm. even from a competitor. Mm. It was from the host. Hey, outside of Priyanka's season two her, winner walk. Oh yeah, her turn down look was so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, but yeah, uh, Brad was there. Tracy Milsher, of course, as always, love her. Yes, with those yeah. interesting earrings. They are interesting. I didn't even notice them at first. And then we had Jeremy Dutcher. They seemed pretty cool. I, I you know, yeah, I, yeah. They, they did the job. They were serviceable. Yeah, they so were it's there now time for Candace Drag Race Squirrels Trip. 
What did you think of this musical overall? There were some good parts. There were some okay parts. Compared, there are some parts that didn't need to be that. Yeah. Compared to the rude schools we've gotten in the past, is it the best? No. No. But I got to give the queens their props. They did that. Yeah. They took that shitty rusical and they did the best they could. Because <laughs> that's what it was. Baby, they did the best they could with it. And I got to give them props because I don't think any of them did a bad job here in this rusical. Mm -mm. say that now I don't think any of them did a bad job but we'll talk about them one to one Jada Shada Hudson I enjoyed her I thought she was fun she commanded the stage she knew yes. her words like it was good mm -hmm. could she have had a little bit more energy yes I, I thought her energy was appropriate but, at least for me anyway right I think it was just I, I, don't, I don't know you know Brad was directing the singing and he probably didn't tell her, you know, like, hey, give a little bit more life. <laughs> yeah, if we actually had a musician there who could have helped with the vocal. Right. Then it probably would have been a different musical. Yeah. Just saying. Moving on to Irma Gerd. I thought she did a great job. I was really confused by the judges' critiques. Me too. I, I understand when they were talking about her look, but her actual performance, I thought she did a great job. I didn't I mean see, I didn't see nowhere where she didn't it didn't look like she knew the choreography. Exactly. Other than that like half turn in the middle of the group. But I thought that that was just part of the character. She's supposed to be a haggard woman, yeah. you know, newly divorced. No, so of course auntie. you're gonna be confused and drunk aunties. Mm hmm That makes me wanna watch Netflix now. Up next was Miss Fierce Delicious. I thought she did an amazing job. Miss Fierce Delicious, again, regrets. I'm having regrets. She's turning out this second half of the competition. You know, the first half, she, she was there. But this second half, she's really doing a great job. And I thought she did a great job with this character. And one thing about all their characters, it fit who they were. Yes. Like, which was great. Yeah, like... They they did a really good job with this. Up next is Kimmy Couture. Baby, yeah. her little dance session at the end. I was like, okay, uh -huh. ma'am. Okay. Yes, because uh -huh. this caftan was not doing it for me. And nor was the was, silver uh, wig. Mm -hmm. And then she was in the her, her, so I'm not a dancer. Cat, 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 cat. Bam. Like, what do you mean you're not a dancer? <laughs> turn. Turn. Pivot. Turn. <laughs> Gotta hush. She was a dancer. Now, Giselle Lullaby, I do agree that she did the worst, but she didn't do bad. She was probably like the most entertaining for me. Yeah, out of for the me. majority of them. Yeah. With her her wannabe, you know, Celine Dion looks. For me, if anybody didn't really know the choreography, it was her. And thank mm -hmm. God for auto tune because they got that voice sounding decent. Okay, because what it was, was I'm like, well, look at her. And the the thing was, was I thought it was part of the joke because the joke was supposed to be she can't sing, and then they turned around and auto tuned her to the point where it sounded like she could. Yep. Yep. And I was like, yeah. that kind of defeats the purpose. And then Jeremy was pushing and talking about you have a great voice. No, she don't. Stop that. <laughs> he he didn't hear past the auto tune. But you you stop that. Uh, uh. Up next is Vivian Vanderpuss. Mama ate. <laughs> <laughs> she ate. She's the only one who got multiple screenshots. We're gonna get to them, but she ate. Oh, that tango! I was living oh, for it. We gonna get to it. Hold on. This is all them together, and here it is. Her tango moment. Yes. She ate She's like, I oh. have four kids and I can't stand them. My husband's impotent. Like, Come it was fuck me. so good. Like, yes. I'm, and really... I'm sitting here like, is she me, right? For it to be badly written, I think they did an amazing job. Like, I, I, I enjoyed it. While recognizing this is terrible, <laughs> very bad. 
Very, very bad. Very bad. But they did such a great job. <laughs> such a great job. So the category is dystopian drag. Dystopian drag. Uh, first is Jada Shada Hudson. I agree with the judges. Compared to everybody else's, uh, hers was it's, very pedestrian. But Yeah, it looks a lot of homemade. However... But I could see this actually being the drag of the future. You know what I'm saying? If we're living in a post uh dystopian word, you get world, you gotta take what you can. Exactly. I mean, it hers seem more like Mad Max realistic type. Yeah. Yeah. If that's what she was giving. And then everybody else was like futuristic fantasy. <laughs> Speaking of, here's Miss Fair Solutions. You can't even recognize her. And you know what? And that is a good thing. Eight. This runway Eight. up. She Again, walked out. Correct. I'm like, come on, sea creature. I I think I think if she wins, I deserve like 0. 0.5 points. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. I've never given a 0. 0.5 before. I mean, it, look, because you would lose too because she's not in your top three. I so. Know. Listen, <laughs> I haven't won since 14? The end of 14? No, I won All-Star 7. Two times. Yeah, liar. I won All-Star 7 twice because I had both winners in my top four. Anyway. You know what? You better be glad this is a family channel. <laughs> is it? <laughs> when did this become a family channel? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Fierce Delicious, you did an amazing job, honey. Oh, so good. Fierce That's Delicious, you can, follow, you, you can follow us on Instagram, too. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes. I had to get the back too. I really enjoyed the net uh seaweed combination back here. I thought that mm -hmm. was up next is Vivian Vanderpuss. Yes. 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 Hold on, let me get the face. Ah. It's a little like reindeer looking thing. This was so freaking good. Good. And the story mm -hmm. behind it was great. Yes. Oh, Kimmy. Now this is cute. I like this. Uh -huh. it's but it's a bathing this, suit. We've seen this so many times now. On her, you on have, Bosco. You have a nasty walk, honey, and I live for it. Ooh. You yes. every time you get on that runway. But I'm still gonna give this a two. A soft one though. But we've seen this so many times. What did you think of this look, honey? I agree with you. I was just like, oh, it's another bleeding suit. Cool. Top, bottom, thigh high boots. Oh, I love the boots. Up next is Ermagerd. I love this. I thought this was. I, I wish she would have kept the skirt on, honestly. Yeah, that, yeah, it's a got one with the skirt off. When she took the skirt off, I'm like, eh. But I, I love the little face mask, and she still had lipstick on underneath. Yes, like I enjoyed this. I really did. And then I tried to get one of the actual makeup. Mm -hmm. And here is Giselle Lullaby. Amazing. This dystopian Celine Dion. Baby, when <laughs> Brooklyn said, How you doing? And How Brandon doing? get it. I'm like, it's Doom, like the movie Doom. Like, did you not? I didn't watch the movie Dune, but you know, I, I knew I caught the Dune reference as soon as she walked out. <laughs> but yes, a uh, freaking amazing. Like, mm -hmm. through Giselle, I live. So, out of these amazing six looks, who had your favorite look of the week? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How how come I'm looking at them and I can't remember their name? <laughs> uh, Vivian. Vivian Vanderpuss? Yes. Well, my favorite is right next to her. Fierce Mr. Delicious. delicious. <laughs> See, Fierce Delicious was like right there. Oh, this was so good. Like, this was so a close. great runway. Like, none of these looks are bad. Like, no. I don't think I would boot any of these looks. No, they're they're good in different ways for a different interpretation of the same theme. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't get a screenshot of Vivian. My bad. Well, let's just zoom in on her. Vivian won this week's challenge. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with Vivian winning? Yeah. 
I do. She did. I think she did the best in the challenge, and she had one of the better looks of the week. So yeah, I do agree with Vivian winning this week. And plus, it's finally that <laughs> she's been so close. What two, three so times many now? Times. Like, yes. I'm so glad she finally got the win. Woo! I, I'm not gonna lie. I really thought they were gonna give it to Fierce for a second. Uh, really right. Did. Because Fierce really did good did. for a musical, too. Yeah, so, like, I, I really thought they were going to give it to her for a second, but I'm so happy for my girl Vivian. But our bottom two is Irma Gerd and Giselle Lullaby. Do you agree with this bottom two? Not really. My thing is, I don't... Giselle, for sure, I agree with. But Irma, I don't know. I, uh, I think I would have switched her out with Kimmy. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, because the- yeah, Kimmy but I guess because Kimmy just you know she killed that dance, so he did. But the run- and I think that's what saved her because because if it were RuPaul, <laughs> but it's just like I just I I don't see they're just like I know they have to justify somebody being down there with Giselle. Mm-hmm. But it's just like I I didn't believe their justifications of putting Irma down here. But they lip sync to "Love Is" by Elena Miles. What did you think of this lip sync? It, it was it was another one where I was just kind of like, okay, yeah, like it wasn't bad, but it was nothing to write home about. You know what I'm saying? I love that wig. Well, yes, I I love this shot right here. This was good. <laughs> but yeah, they um they did a good job. Neither one of them really did bad. The only thing yeah. Irma did the same dance moves she did in the last lip sync. Mm-hmm. And I know uh a lot of drag queens have their repertoire moves. Right. But when we just saw them last week, I, I think I would have tried to throw a little few extra new moves in there. Uh, something else did something completely different. Yeah. But they uh, nod their heads. <laughs> and the winner of the lip sync is Giselle Lullaby. Do you agree? For better or worse, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would have chose Giselle out of the two just because, you know, Irma was doing the same thing. But then again, we've never seen Giselle lip sync prior to this point. So it was like, oh, let's see what Giselle can get. Right. But yeah, which means we have to say goodbye to our good old Irma Gerd. Irma Gerd. Irma Gerd. Next week, it is time for the Masquerade Ball. Yeah. I've been waiting for them to do a Masquerade Ball for the longest. Like, it's literally, it's right there in the name. Mm-hmm. So, I am super excited for a ball. Masquerade. So, Sorry. who do you think is going to the opera? Oh, you're fine. Who do you think <laughs> might take it next week? Mm. Masquerade Ball. All of our big seamstresses are out, but Irma, I think Irma and Vivian both can sew. Mm-hmm. And I believe they did good in the first one. I can't remember. Oh, Giselle can sew too, I think. Does Giselle sew? I don't remember. Oh, but remember. she did win. So I would imagine she can do something. She can do enough to win. Right. So yeah. And we know Fierce has issues in the um designing area. Right, and you see it in the preview. Yeah, and also, but that second design look she made was cute. There's a lot of design challenges this season. I just realized that. This is acting like season three of U.S. Drag Race, because if you go back, there was like four or five design challenges. I'm like, damn, (laughs) y'all. Can we do something? Following the same format, different camera. (laughs) But yeah, so I'm excited for next week. You know, I love me a good ball. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's been a minute since we had a ball at the end of the season. Typically, they're at the beginning now. Or, yeah, or in the middle. Yeah, because uh, earlier seasons of Drag Race all happened at the end. Like, that was the challenge before the finale. Mm-hmm. But they switched it up with, like, I want to say, like, season 10, and they started doing it at the beginning. So it's nice to see Canada switch it up. and like, no, we're going to do it at the end. But I remember they did their first ball at the end, too. Canada season one ball, they did it at the end, because remember, that's when Jimbo went home. Yes. Oh, um, I don't remember. I think, sloppy makeup. They they're a lot better now. I think they did a ball for season two of Canada. I can't remember off the top of my head. They might have. I can't remember. Can't remember. But anyway, um, and so oh, overall, I'm really enjoying Canada. 
Mm-hmm. I am uh, excited that the season's going to end. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, if you think about it, all of them are about to end in tandem. Cause... But we got more coming. So it's, it's not like... It's not We're like, going to get a break. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know who it's he is. It's not like it's just going to slow down. No. No. Because we still we won't get a break. The world. We 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 might get a break the last week of December, like we did last year. <laughs> we got Canada versus the world. We got Drag Race UK. We got Drag Race Sweden, because that's coming this year too. Um, oh my God! The next season of Italy, but you know we're not covering Italy. We'll probably do a big season recap once it's over mm-hmm. to see, because you know they really they really burnt us with the first season. They really did. So we're gonna watch just from a distance. <laughs> and we'll we'll collect at the end and be like, oh, this is what we liked about the season, this is what we didn't. We're gonna watch from a distance. From a distance. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah, so there's still plenty of more seasons. Dragula, uh Titans is coming. Um, Queen of the Universe. Queens of the Universe. Queen of the Universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that song used to be stuck in my head all the time. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. We thank y'all so much for watching. We really thank do appreciate you. the love that y'all show us. Just a reminder: make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our reviews. Because right now we're reviewing them all. Yes. Right now, if it, if it gets a little too much, we might have to do like we did last year and combine them all into one quick Big. review. <laughs> yes. But we we just got overwhelmed. We're a little bit more prepared. Yeah, you. last year that that, that kind of threw us off. Last year, we were like, "Whoa!" This year, we went we came in with the mind frame. Okay, there's gonna be four at one time. Mm-hmm. And you know, so on top of that, we know friend, when to record, how to record. <laughs> and on top of that, my friend here is trying to finish up her college life. Yeah. So she's doing a full time job, full time school, plus doing this. So, me, I'm just working full time, and that's hard enough. Just working full time and doing this. So yes, because I completely I, I apologize for like the 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 lackluster me that you had last year. I was really tired. I moved, started a new job. I had a lot going on emotionally and mentally. Yeah. I'm I'm in a much better place now. Same. Uh, I'm in a much better place than I was just a few months ago because I was experiencing burnout. But I got a promotion in a different department. And, you know, a lot of things have changed for me. And honestly, that's really helped. And yeah, we're, we're ready. We're ready this year. Last year, it threw us off. Yeah. But this year, we're ready. Now, this next year. year, next year might be rough because I plan on moving next year. So it might be a little rough there in the middle of the year coming this way maybe possibly maybe i'm I'm still torn in between other areas but i could possibly come down to the austin area i might maybe maybe houston yeah but let's go ahead and wrap it up here honey where can they find you on social media you can find me at Krisha mcgill that's c-r-e-s-h-a-m-c-g-i-l-l on all social media and you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-O-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see y'all tomorrow with our celebrity review. 